What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, we're going to take a look at a photo from Spirit Rover. This one's pretty interesting. Now, this was seen on JP Skipper's page, and my buddy Will from What's Up in the Sky 37 did it, I think it was like six, seven years ago, at least about this particular object I'm going to show you. But there's much more in this. Let's get into this. Here's a photo we're going to look at, and you can see the address up here. It's nasa.gov, MER, which is basically the Spirit Rover, uh, where the MSL would be curiosity rover so you get the idea right uh you will get the link as always that's how we roll now let me show you the object that was talked about which looks like this humanoid skull if you guys haven't seen this this is pretty interesting and it actually has this uncanny look that actually looks like that right here the bottom of the screen i'm gonna go ahead and bring it down right here and i'm gonna bring this up a little better for you guys but right there in the center well we can't put it in the center but it's in the bottom right there in the center and it's right here you can see that. But what's also in here is, you can, it, there's, a, there's a ton of manipulation and obfuscation here, guys. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, there's this object right here. It's hard to tell what this is. Right here in the middle of the screen. Almost looks like some kind of weird, like, ceramic vase or something like that. Or some kind of weird cup on its side. Or some kind of goofy looking object that just stands out from its environment. Uh, or its surroundings, right? That's what is anomalous. That's what the definition of anomalous basically is, in a nutshell. We have this piece right here. I'll put it in the middle of the screen for you guys. Right there. Not only can you see the outer edge of something that's been covered, right here, but you can see something white. And it doesn't stop right there in this little corner. It actually goes on the other side of this manipulation and look at the guys just look right here on the left of it oh my god the manipulation of this thing is outrageously it's sad it's it, and it, it's it's an actual crime to be honest with you just the stuff that they're doing to these photos now this cell here i believe goes back to 1526 you can see it up here um and of course again you guys get that link it, this is what i find interesting too you know you get like this weird little rock that has what looks like a tail do you see that right there in the middle of the screen i'll go ahead and put it right there smack dab you guys can see that right there, right there. You can see the rock, but what's this little kind of like tail end of this thing sticking out, right? What is that? We got the item right here, just to the right and up right there. White, completely white. Almost looks like it's almost like it's like this here, like it's curved. You can see that right there. Look at the end where it has a slant to it right there. But it has, almost looks like it's kind of a curved kind of thing. And you can see a little bit of white right there as well. See that right there? Peeking out. What I'm going to also show you guys, which I think you'll, you'll find interesting, is the background. Now, when you look at the background, you don't see anything, right? But you will. Not in great detail, but you can see that they're hiding something. Let's jump right into Photoshop. All right, so we rotated this here a little bit so you, can, you don't have to tilt your head and break it off. Uh, and we enlarged the photo for you guys. Let's jump right into this. Here's that little skull type thing. And it truly does look like a skull. Now, is it something else that's maybe it's part of something much larger in this manipulation? Is that a possibility? Sure. But it does have that weird uncanny look to it. And if you look just to the right, it almost looks like there's another set of eyes right there. Only it's been like obfuscated out. But it almost looks like two eyes right there. Now, that may be nothing but the manipulation, right? But look at this guy. Look at the blur spots. Okay, here's a perfect example. Look at this. Completely redacted information. It's a complete cluster, if you know what I mean. Right? It's just crazy. It's just weird. You get this rock right here. It looks like it's curling. See, it almost looks like it has this weird seal type look to it. Almost looks like it's doing this here. See that right there? Almost looks like it has that weird curl to it. Hard to tell, but it, I mean, it could be just a trick of light, right? But look at this. Look at the way they're literally taking things out of the photo right there. Almost has this weird kind of like uh, tombstone shape to it, right? See that? But nonetheless, it's, it's stuff being taken out, right? But let's find this other piece right here. This is, this is, I find this interesting as well, guys. Look at that. Not sure if this darker piece is also part of that. But you can see it looks like it has this opening. Kind of almost has this conical shape to it. But whatever that thing is, it's it, it's there. And there's so many other things here, guys. I mean, 
just a manipulation alone. Like it almost looks like they would just want like this to, to cover this up. And then all you see is that's the actual ground, but there's so little there to see that it's not even funny, right? Here's this funky looking rock. I'm just trying to figure out what kind of rock has this weird tail on it. You see it doing this. Going like this here. But check this out. Is that natural? Hmm. I don't know about that, guys. I'm not even so sure that's even a rock, to be truthful with you. We got this piece right here on the right-hand side, which I find pretty interesting because you have, again, looks like it does this, but then goes back. And then you have this other white piece right here. Whatever this is, it's laying on the ground, and they completely blurred this out. You can just see the spot blurring. It's Like I said, it's it's actually criminal to see what they're doing in these photos. Absolutely insane what they're doing here. This mess over here. Look at this, how you get these straight lines. I'll show you this last piece, and I'm going to fully enhance it. And this piece here, once you burn some of this crap away that's around this, you actually see a small piece of it on this side. So it's actually a bigger piece than it appears, and you're going to see this thing actually does this. But it also has this other piece connected to it. God only knows what these things are, but you can see this. It's just so blatant, right? All right, let's fully enhance this and give you guys a good idea of what's being hidden. There's so much in here to see, guys. It's it's just crazy. All right, here's that skull piece right here. You can still see that other one's kind of like ghosted face kind of thing. But right there, and it does actually look like a humanoid skull, right? Now, is it? Again, this may be something that's part of, something that's buried in this ground, but because it's all been manipulated around it, as you can see, that we don't know if it's just part of something or it is an actual skull. Again, never any way to vet this stuff, guys. It's just the way it is. This right here, again. Now, you can see here, I'm going to put this in the middle, but I'm also going to put this other part here. Look, I can see like little pieces right here, kind of hidden. Like they put this stuff, they put this manipulation, but forget little bits and pieces. And if you guys haven't checked out that moon video I just posted, check it out. Uh, I posted it prior to this one. Check it out on my Lunar Anomalies and Beyond page. And you can see how there's bits and pieces, again, where they don't completely go over it. And like just like this piece here. Almost has this dock and base, but has this piece sticking out of it. Now, what that is, I couldn't tell you. But you can see these little bits and pieces stick out. This right here. If I do this, see how like I started to burn this, all of a sudden this white piece started to come out, and guess what? This thing is much more than just some simple little piece. And it, I'm sure it's part of something else, but this has all been manipulated. You see this going like this here? That's what it is. It's a Martian stingray. No, I'm just kidding, guys. But it's just, it's just crazy how some of these things just pop out. Got something right here that looks a little weird, but uh, going like this here. Has this piece like this, has a dot in the middle. Looks like it goes back like this. Almost has something circular right there. I'm not sure what that is. Has a dark uh, piece there. See that? But just some of the things, man. I just look at it and I just go, come on. Clearly, this is not natural. There's no way. Here's this other piece I was telling you guys about. And we couldn't get all that much out of there, other than, like I showed you earlier, it got this whiter piece. And we've got this piece here. But it is part of something much larger. You can see it. Now, again, it's hard to bring some of this out with all of this manipulation there, right? And again, we, again we've got this area on this side right here, which I find really interesting. It just happened to be this nice straight line out of all this chaos in this area. It just happens to have this. Almost like it's got an arch type thing going on right there. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's. I'll tell you what this is. This is like a line they just made, and what they do is they just blocked out, just took you know some kind of texture, and just squared this out and just dropped the texture right in there, just filled in that texture line what they wanted to fill in. That's basically what it comes down to. All right, 
Let's go to the back here. Do you guys see anything of any value at all? And most of you guys are going to probably say, no. I see some little bit of lighter spots here and there, maybe some darker spots, nothing to get excited about. And you'd be right. If you look at this like this, this photo, not to mention it's tilted, the original photo is anyway, and you would look at this and go, Chris, I don't know what you're talking about. I see nothing in that background other than mountains way back here and the back. All of these in the back. And guess what, guys? I promise you these are not even mountains. But what I'm looking at, and you won't be able to unsee this after I show it to you. This is cool. Right here, I don't know if you guys can see this at all. Right here. I see this piece right here going like this. I see it going down like this and down. I see what looks like something going like this, coming around. But what I also see is this thing continuing down, and then it looks like it does this. And I'm going to put an extra line in here because I want, I want to show you guys the direction this thing looks like. It's almost like a nose cone. And let me go ahead and just show you what I've got as far as the lines right here. Now, notice just by doing this, check this out. Do you see that now they've tried to block this out? So what they do is they outline the object in question and then they put a texture over it and they block this thing out. Look at how it has these lines way in the background, too. See this right here? Going like this. One, two, three. But again, we've got that weird piece going like this. Kind of looks like it's doing this. And you can see this piece coming down. Looks to have this kind of brunt to a face there. Going down like this. It almost looks like it's doing this. So in other words, you get this sloping piece in the front. See that? But also take note of the lines that they put here. Look at it. Nice straight line coming around, going like this here. And if you look to the right of this, look at this. Now, is this line part of a manipulation blackout? So in other words, they outlined it again, put this texture in. But notice the small pieces are just kind of like eh, very little detail of any. But yet, look at this. Look up here. This piece right here, what looks like something going like this, going up, coming down. Let me just zoom in a little bit to that. See that? Yeah, kind of kind of weird, guys. Now, am I just blowing this up and making it look like, oh, no, no, there's something there. Let's have a look. Now, let's go back to the original. I can still see this. I can still see the lines. I can still see everything in here. Right there. I can still see all of this. Going like this. I can still see this piece right here. Kind of looks like it's doing this here, going down, get the back in this, and you've got something right here. See that? It's right there, guys. You can't unsee it now. It's actually there. You got to look, but you can see pretty darn good now that right there. Something sitting on top of a platform or on a piece of land. Doesn't have to be anything specific, but look at that. There's so much more in these backgrounds. And just judging by the way this, you know, spot blurring and garbage. Look at this. I mean, let's just zoom into this. I mean, you're going to see at a level, you're going to be at like uh, uh, pixelation and, you know, compression artifacts, so on and so forth. You're going to see that. But you can actually see the outline of this set objects in the background. And I don't have to do anything to it. But now as soon as we you know, darken this thing up a little bit, all of this stuff starts to pop. I also just noticed something back here behind it, right there. Something going like this. Now, this may be nothing, but it's just kind of weird that it happens to be next to something that could be an object or structure. Uh, it could be anything, right? But there you go. You see it now? It's almost like you can't unsee it. And that's what I want you guys to see. It's kind of like teach your eyes and train your eyes to see the shadowing and the stuff that's being hidden in these photos. There's so much more in here to see, man. It's just crazy. Let's just bring this brightness down here for a moment. Let's just see what happens. Oh, look at this. You can see other things now that's on this, these hillsides. See it? You can't make out what they are. Clearly you can't. But notice how they do this in between. You got a darker object here. Got a darker object here. Well, if we would just take like a some kind of, you know, texture and just drop it all over these mountains, nobody would be none the wiser. But you can see something in the background here. 
and you can see these objects look at look almost like something doing this and this may be nothing more than shadows and trickery of the eyes and i get that and i wouldn't make too much out of it look at this right here i just noticed this now now that i darkened this up look at these kind of these almost like rectangular pieces there's two of them one here going like this coming back down and doing this there's another one right next to it going like this you guys see that actually it's doing this too I think they're I think they're intelligently made and they're definitely not mountains. Something that's advanced looks like almost something two of them t together and you got this other piece here in the foreground. Oh no. I guarantee these are some kind of crafts, structures of some sort. I don't know. But either way, now you can see that right there. These two pieces right there. See that? Yeah. There you go, guys. Much much more on these photos. Than meets the eye it's not just a foreground you guys want to pay attention to right there's so much more in here to see there you go don't you guys see that real quick and then jump off this thing guys again here and of course like i said our background Again, once you train your eyes to see the texture, and here's the thing, when you even see just the, just look, guys, you can see the pixelation has been changed. Right here, you can see the difference in pixels. You can That's how you can see the shape of this object. And again, if we were to do this, bring down the brightness, you can start to see other objects that are like, almost like, I'm going to use the term park next to each other, right here, but almost the same back to these things. What could they possibly be? And we can see other objects like shapes. Now, we can't see any detail, of course, because it wasn't meant to be seen to begin with. And again, we've got this up here. Right there. There you go, guys. What are we seeing here, guys? To me, there's much more. That skull is interesting as hell. We've got what looks like mechanical parts kind of you know, scattered all over the foreground. There's a lot to see there. It's the background that intrigues me the most because they went out of their way to really hide what's there. But if you look at the disruption in the pixels, you can see the shape of that object. Can you see the details on it? No, of course not. But you can see the outline of it, and that's what makes it interesting. And you can see there's much more in that background than just simple mountains. What are they? Are they structures, some kind of crafts, um, some kind of their vehicle, so to speak? I don't know. Drop your comments and thoughts below. As always, please like and share. Always appreciated. You guys know that. If you guys haven't seen my uh, moon video that I just posted in Lunar Anomalies and Beyond, have a look at that when you get a chance. Jump over there. And I do have another Mars video coming up, so stay tuned for that as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one.